Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Luisa and today we're going to be talking all about the divine feminine and the frequency of beauty and how to become more beautiful. So I'm going to start this video off with a story, real life, real story that happened to me. So I am a New York person. I'm from New York, born and raised and for some reason I know a lot of people in the music industry. I don't do music, but I just happen to know a lot of artists, a lot of agents, a lot of managers. It's just always, I don't know why, but that's been my world for a while, like a lot of my friends. So again, I don't do music. So anyway, this was like a couple years ago, a friend of mine was managing this artist and she's from the West Coast. And she had a song that came out that just was a huge hit. I'm not going to say who the artist is because that's just going to, it doesn't matter who it is. But anyway, she has a huge hit song, right? It's on the radio like every five minutes. The song blew up. So <clears throat> it was on all the time. So in New York, there is a concert that goes on from a radio station, 105.1. They put on a concert. I don't know if they still do it, but they do a um, concert. So they flew her to New York and she performed at the concert and she's doing like her press run or whatever. <clears throat> so my friend is managing her. So he asked me if I wanted to go to, she was gonna perform at this really exclusive really really nice club in new york and he was like do you want to come and i was already in the city i know this because i remember i had my car i was already in the city so i was like yeah i'll just come whatever and come see her perform so i get there and there's a whole section off for her her entourage managers and all that stuff and there's bottles and it's like really really nice so i go and i meet everybody and I sit down because I'm wearing heels and I didn't want to be standing all night. I was tired, I was sat my butt down. So the thing about New York is that most business gets done at night, meaning at shows, at dinners, at events, at different things. Like a lot of business gets done at night. That's when you're meeting people, that's when you're exchanging information, that's when, so business gets done at night and then contracts are signed the next day. So that was going on. So I'm not in the music industry, so I'm just sitting down, minding my business. And so everybody gets up. They're all mingling, they're talking, they're connecting, they're networking. Everybody's like basically like working. And so I'm sitting down, I'm chilling, like I'm just here for the vibes, my wearing my heels. So anyway, the artist comes over if, with her entourage and she points at me and she goes, what is that? And so I was like, now I took the high road because she's an artist. She doesn't know who I am. I'm sitting in her section, whatever. So I introduced myself very humbly. My name is Maya, like la 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 la. But the whole night, she was just like super rude, very extra and very just rude, okay? So ever since then, I could never see this girl as beautiful. I could never see her beauty. I can only see the venom that she spit. I can only see like just the vibe that she gave me. I can never ever see her beauty again. So my point is that beauty is very much a frequency. It's the same thing as in the story of Cinderella, her stepsisters, they had all the money, they had all the money for the makeup and they could do all the things, but they were never beautiful. The evil stepsisters could never be beautiful because of the energy that they're emanating. So beauty is a frequency. Beauty is an energy that we emanate out. So what does it have to do with the divine feminine? Well, the, the divine feminine loves and thrives in the frequency of beauty. The frequency of beauty is a very high frequency. 
It is a frequency that surpasses just what we think of beauty standards to be. It's beyond that. It's a frequency that we emit when we come into a higher sense of self, a higher sense of self-acceptance in higher realms with love. So it's along with the frequency, the high frequency of love is the frequency of beauty. So it is something that we emit. It's not something that you can buy at Sephora. Like you can get makeup and feel something, but the frequency of beauty is beyond anything that you can buy in a store. And it's very important to the Divine Feminine because the Divine Feminine thrives in beauty. So what really is beauty? There was a study, I'm sure that you've heard of this, that was done um, by a Japanese scientist named Dr. Emoto. And he studied water. And what he did was he took some water and he spoke very loving words into the water. Loving words, I love you, high frequency words into this water and he froze it. And then he spoke negative words into another glass of water and like words like hate and all this other stuff and froze it. And from what he found, the water that he spoke words of love, of high frequency words, when he looked in the microscope, it created these crystal designs that were absolutely astounding. They had these like beautiful structures, just like thriving structures. And then the ones that he spoke negative words into, when you look in the microscope, it was all distorted and off and they looked like incomplete. Like you can go online, you can Google this. It, they looked, it looked disgusting. So the words that you speak, the thoughts that you have, all contribute to your vibration, which all contributes to the frequency that you emit. We know that we are made of water. So what are the thoughts that you're thinking, consistent thoughts about yourself and then about in general? What are your thoughts? What is your frequency level? Beauty is a building block of the universe. It's one of the things that when we're in a frequency of beauty, it is emits like inner peace and love. If you want to know a civilization that mastered the frequency of beauty, look to ancient Kemet. Ancient Kemet, these ancient Egyptians understood very, very well the frequency of beauty. You go inside these tombs, you will see the attention to detail. You will see all of the building blocks, all of the, even the materials that they use. They use lapis lazuli, they use carnelian. All of these different minerals and different stones and semi-precious stones emit a frequency. And when you have those details and when you have that love and that high energy, <clears throat> that all emits frequency of beauty. So again, think about the thoughts that you think and most importantly, the thoughts as you think about yourself. So when we fully accept ourself, when we fully accept ourself, we have a sense of self-exception, we have a sense of self-love, and that is how we tap into the frequency of beauty. It's because there's no part of us that is rejecting ourselves. There's no self-rejection. It's full acceptance. It's knowing that my past was shaky. I did some things, but I learned. I got the jewels from it. It's like a, an acceptance of self. I accept that my body looks like this and I love her just as she is right now. It, that full embracing of who you are in the moment, it heightens your frequency and it taps you into the frequency of beauty because you're accepting yourself. You're loving yourself. There is a loving energy, like a bubble around you. So 
There might be parts of you that need more love. There might be parts of you that need to be accepted by you because when you reject part of yourself, other people can pick up on that. So it's about really, really embracing all of you and finding beauty in all the different crevices of your life and of your body. So it really is something that comes from within. It is an opening of the heart. It's when the eyes are shining and sparkly. It's when the, the, there's an inner smile. All of that. So what takes away from our beauty? What are some things that, that really distort our beauty? Number one is stress. When we are stressed out, we cannot tap into our inner beauty because there's other frequencies that's taking away our energy. So there has to be a way, a lifestyle, a ritual that you do that when you feel the stress coming on, you have a way to counteract it. It could be prayer, it could be working out, but stress is a very expensive energy to run through your body, especially as a feminine person, as a feminine essence being. In your body, stress is not, like don't make that home in your body. There's also comes to like the very grounded, very practical things that, that make us feel more beautiful. Because when we feel beautiful, you are beautiful because again, it's the frequency that you emit. So another thing that happens with women as in life, what can happen is our lifestyle can contribute to an atrophy that happens in our organs. And you will see this happening um, sometimes with older women, but sometimes it happens with younger women, depending on the lifestyle, where the corners of their mouth start to drop like this. So that is actually a symbol of something that's going on internally. And it's an atrophy in the, in the organs, in the reproductive area. So when we are not doing things to really strengthen and tone, our vaginal canal and strengthen and tone our uterus and all of those things what happens is it begins to sag here and that is reflected on the face so we have to do some rituals and do some things to really strengthen and lift along the, the vaginal canal so kegels is not it it's not gonna do it but you want to do some jade egg work you want to do some some dancing and some somatic embodiments to really work on toning and strengthening the length of the vaginal canal strengthening the uterus and all of those things the womb also <laughs> i wrote notes also, there is the energy of just coming from your body and tapping into your beauty. The number one thing I think is most important is to focus on your health. When you're not healthy, you're not going to be able to feel beautiful. Think about when you have a stomach ache. You're not focused on anything but getting better and not feeling that stomach ache <laughs> you know it's like when you have a migraine I don't care how I look I just don't want this pain in my head so focus on your health when you feel healthy you feel more beautiful think about after you do a workout I don't know about you but me after I do a workout or I do a dance class that was really like I was able to just you know, get into those, to get that endorphin hit. I have, you know, I'm perspiring a little bit and I feel like really warm, really revved up, like I really, really worked my body. I feel beautiful. I know that I look more beautiful. I know I feel the flush in my cheeks. I know that like my circulation's popping. It's something about the workout that just emits health. It's happiness, it's health, it's endorphins, it's energy flowing through. So that makes you more beautiful. When you're healthy, optimal health, there's nothing more 
that can make you tap into the frequency of beauty because you are just honoring your body temple in the way that she wants to be honored and revered. Some of us might have, for example, if you have skin issues, it's a way that your body is communicating to you. So you're going to want to check out your gut health. You're going to want to check out the way that your ancestors ate. A lot of us are not eating of the way our ancestors ate. You want to check out different things that you're eating that your body's like, mm -mm, I don't like it. So really have a compassion and be curious without judgment. Be curious about your body. When she speaks to you, when you have a, when you have, um, you know, maybe you have a breakout or some type of reaction, be curious because your body, that's how she speaks to you. And that's how, you know, we want to take the time to be patient, to listen to what she has to say. So paying attention to our health is key. Your hair. So when your hair is shiny and it's full and it's lustrous, it is a sign of great health, but it's also like sends out signals if you're dating, if you're looking for your loved one, or even for yourself, or even for if you are married. Like when you have a shine in your hair, it's saying that you have enough healthy fat in your system. It's saying that you are healthy. And also it sends like a, like a subliminal message that you have enough healthy fats to reproduce. Because ultimately, as humans, even if you don't want any children or you don't want any more children, we do have this innate nature inside of us to procreate, especially if you're running the feminine energy through your body. There, you do incite the, the, the way that people are attracted to us. People who want, <laughs> how do I say this? <laughs> People, people, when we have this feminine essence, this feminine energy, part of the magnetism, part of the connection is the attraction and the connection to feminine energy is also the desire and the, the very primal level. This is like very subconscious desire to procreate and knowing that there is this connection, there is this this ability to procreate if she desires and if i desire obviously but there is this procreation energy that is run, that runs through us and that is part of the magnetism so looking at the shine of your hair think look at all the products just go to cvs you will see so many products talking about shine 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 and it's because of this quality but it's also because shiny things in Spanish, we call it brillo, brillo, like diamonds, all of these shiny things. Why is it so attractive to the human eye? This is on like a very subliminal, like subliminal subconscious layer. Glitter, shiny things. What it says to our mind is the presence of water. And as a human being, as a, as a mammal, when we know that something is shiny, it sends a message to our brain because it reminds us of when we used to walk around the earth looking for water. And so when we saw a body of water that sparkled, it symbolized that it was the ability to drink this water so we could sit by the river, we could drink the water and then our offspring would just go on and be healthy and all that stuff. So it's the presence of water is very deep in our subconscious. So that's that brillo. So it, you know, like the shine, the sparkle, it's very, very deep in our subconscious. It's very alluring. But also for you and yourself to feel that is to be healthy. One of the things I know to really like if your hair is um, struggling is definitely, you know, check with your doctor. I'm not a doctor. But omega threes, getting your healthy fats, avocado and peanut butter. There's a there's a study that showed that people who eat peanut butter have an average of like an inch and a half longer hair, healthier hair than people who don't eat peanut butter. 
So eat some peanut butter if you like it. Embrace the peanut butter, get the natural kind. And um, if you don't like peanut butter, eat your avocados, take your supplements, take your vitamins, go to the doctor. Because the number one thing, like you can go and you can get a ton of makeup, but none of it matters if you don't feel good from within. When you feel good from within, when you feel sexy, when you feel healthy, that emanates and taps into that frequency of beauty. That is very, very important. And also your skin, skin health. So making sure that you're drinking lots of water, that you're staying hydrated, that you're knowing what your skin wants because that will also change with time. Your skin, um, her needs. She might need something more creamy as a, as a moisturizer as you get older or um, whatever. If you find that you have um, like a hormonal breakouts, there's stuff that you can do internally, teas that you can take internally to help to balance that. Because again, your body is always speaking to you. She's always speaking to you. And I think that the the deepest, most important thing to do is to look at your body at, with deep reverence. We tend to, as women, look at our body as a project, as like something that needs to be fixed, something like, oh, I'm gonna love myself in five, when I lose five pounds, or I'm gonna love myself once um, I go on this diet or I get this surgery. And once we find this deep reverence for our body, for our health, what you're putting like, and just noticing her, taking the time to notice how she speaks to you, what she likes, what she needs, and just giving her that with deep reverence. I think that is essentially the part of life that's so nourishing because you then tap into a deep, deep, deep love and acceptance for self and that is the frequency of beauty that is the frequency of beauty so you will notice from my story from like i first started this video there's some people that have it all they have all the money they have all the fame and by the way she never had another hit again you will never hear about her. <laughs> but some people have it all but they still not beautiful because of what is it within them and the energy that they emit. And then there's some people who don't have the traditional sense of beauty that are so beautiful, they're gorgeous. You can't take your eyes off of them because of the energy that they emit. It's because their soul is beautiful. It's because of just this emanation of love, this frequency of love, this high frequency that is the most important thing as a human being we communicate with our words but more so and what's most powerful is the way that we communicate our frequency with our body the frequency that you emit it's way more powerful than anything that you can say than any makeup you could slap on your face or brush on your face it's the frequency it's your health it's your thoughts, it's your warmth, it's the acceptance of yourself. And so when we focus on those things, those internal processes, that is the process of falling in love with ourselves and becoming a magnet for what is for us, the love that is for us, the friendships that is for us, the clients that are for us, all of those things because we have fallen so deep in love with our own self, with our own self-acceptance, with our own body, with our own frequency. And so if you wanna go deeper into this work, come join us for the Radiant Goddess. It's a whole process of deep reverence for your feminine energy, of dancing, of jade egg work, and sacred sexuality, and beauty, and becoming your own muse. It's really like, just such a treasure. So you're welcome to join us and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great, great afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. Peace and love.